We were in court when the suspect in the deadly Cobb County business shooting was denied bond by a local judge. We'll update you on his charges, plus give you new information we have on the victims. Thousands feared dead after a 7.0 magnitude earthquake crushed homes, buildings, schools, and so much more near Haiti's capital. We've got new pictures of all of the devastation. I'm tracking high pressure that's bringing in warmer temperatures. I'll show you how high the mercury will rise before it takes a dip this weekend. Today at noon... This is an emergency action notification, transmitted at the request of the civil authorities. At approximately 7.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, cases of the recent TS-19 outbreak have been coming in from all over the state of Georgia. And now, sporadic outbreaks of violence are being reported all over the state. This disease has also been reported to be causing massive damage to other states and major cities across the country, such as Los Angeles, and California, and New York City, and upstate New York. These areas have also been seeing a lot of what we are currently seeing here in the state of Georgia, and because of this, these states and cities have been put on lockdown by the U.S. military, and as of 3.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Georgia is going through its whole lockdown procedure in order to contain the spread of TS-19, and because of this, any and all highways leading to and from Atlanta have been shut down to prevent further spread of this disease. As of now, it is uncertain if the infected have been fully contained. As of now, mass quarantines have been happening within the areas of these following counties. DeKalb County, Newton County, Rockdale County, Fulton County, Gwinnett County, and Fayetteville. In case you or a loved one may be infected with the disease, these are the symptoms authorities say you need to look out for. These may include a decreased heart rate, high fever, excess of vomiting, and possibly cardiac arrest. If you start to exhibit any of these symptoms, call any emergency services you can, and make sure you get anyone not infected as far away from you as possible, for their own safety, as you could possibly start losing control of your anger and or aggression, and become a dire threat to anybody around you. Lock yourself inside of your house if you can and clinical personnel will be at your residence, as soon as they can, in order to examine you, in order to confirm, if you are infected, or if possible, get someone to restrain you, until clinical personnel can get to your residence. As this situation develops, authorities advise you to stay indoors, if you're not already infected, and lock all doors and windows, or any possible entrance way to your home. As the infected have been considered extremely dangerous, make sure to have enough food for at least a week as this can go on for up to two weeks if properly contained. Don't try to travel outside of the state, as reports are coming in from all over the country of sporadic outbreaks of the infected, thus leading to mass quarantines all over the country. As of now, phone lines are reserved for emergency services, only so do not try to call any friends or loved ones at the moment for it will just slow down our response time to help you endure others. In these dire times, we would like to reassure you that military personnel and the local authorities are doing all they can in order to contain this biological threat and will do anything necessary to prevent further spread. And we are confident that we can contain the situation as long as people take the necessary precautions we just listed and listen to authorities and military personnel. Kids currently attending school have been dismissed early due to the current events. Do not try to drive out looking for your kids, as we can assure you school buses will be showing up door to door within the coming hour, but as of now you should stay indoors as to prevent any further spread of this contagion.
While martial law has not been declared, the governors of all three states are encouraging citizens to remain calm and stay. message has been transmitted at the request of the Georgia Department of Public Safety. The outbreak warning of TS-19 has now been lifted. This is now a contagious disease warning. Local hospitals and medical facilities have been overwhelmed, with new cases of TS-19 coming up at an almost constant rate. Victims of this virus who haven't already been properly treated or quarantined are starting to cause violent riots in the streets of major urban areas causing massive damage to civilians and public property. Reports are also still coming in from all over the country of many who have been infected with this already deadly disease, which means that we are now faced with an epidemic of TS-19. Major cities such as Megan and Savannah are reported to be seeing sporadic outbreaks of violence. Due to the current epidemic we are faced with, the U.S. military has sealed off the entire state of Georgia, preventing anyone from leaving or coming into the state. Due to the current situation we are faced with, as an effort to contain any and all infected and preventing further spread of the virus, as of now, everyone in the remaining, non-affected parts of Georgia have been ordered to stay indoors and not leave their current location. For in doing so, you are putting yourself at a great risk of not only catching this disease, but putting other people at risk for halting military and emergency service operations to containing TS-19. Because of this, the civil authorities recommend the following actions for everyone to take if they can. Make sure that you have a month's supply of food and water, and if you don't, the military will set up camps and safe zones within major civilian areas, in order to provide those without a month's supply of food and water, with all of the necessary essentials needed to survive in such a time. Lock all doors and windows, for the infected have been reported to be very hostile, and could possibly break down multiple doors and windows, if not properly barricaded. Do not use any phone lines, to call any loved ones, as the phone lines have been reserved for military and emergency service use, only for the current time being. Make sure you have battery-powered essentials, such as a battery-powered radio, as power may go up momentarily throughout the spread of this contagion, in case you or a loved one may be infected with the disease. These are the symptoms authorities say you need to look out for. These may include a decreased heart rate, high fever, excess of vomiting, and possibly cardiac arrest. If you start to exhibit any of these symptoms, call any emergency services you can, and make sure you get anyone not infected as far away from you as possible, for their own safety, as you could possibly start losing control of your anger and or aggression, and become a dire threat to anybody around you. Lock yourself inside of your house if you can and clinical personnel will be at your residence, as soon as they can, in order to examine you, in order to confirm, if you are infected, or if possible, get someone to restrain you, until clinical personnel can get to your residence. During such dark times, we would like to reassure you, that military personnel and the local authorities are doing all they can, in order to contain this biological threat, and will do anything necessary to prevent further spread, and we are confident, that we can contain the situation, as long as people take the necessary precautions we just listed, and listen to authorities and military personnel, but for the time being, Follow the instructions provided to you, as if you don't you're putting you and other safety at risk. Once again, the outbreak warning of TS-19 has now been lifted. This is now a contagious disease warning.
This is Wynn News, bringing you the best news stories from our region and the state. This is a warning from the Australian Government and Department of Health. A virus that the United States Centre for Disease Control is calling TS-19 has made its way to Australia. And now, massive riots of cannibalistic citizens have been making their way into major civilian and urban areas. As of now, the military is doing what they can to try and contain the spread of this contagion. But efforts are proving to be unsuccessful for more information on these current events. Stay tuned for further updates on the events unfolding. Until then, keep yourself inside and make sure to lock and seal all doors and windows as to avoid being spotted by these infected civilians. They are very wounded and are most likely missing large sections of flesh. So if you see anyone that looks like this, avoid them at all cost as they are most likely infected with the TS-19 virus. Do not let anyone in for any reason and don't make your way outside, as you will be put at great risk of getting infected. We will keep you updated on events as they develop. Take these necessary precautions, until then, to keep you and your loved ones safe. What you fail to realize is that most of these so-called experts are looking in the wrong direction. The problem is not chemical or biological, it's psychological. What we're witnessing... Citizens of Ontario, you are at high risk of spreading TS-19. You are required by law to self-isolate for up to three weeks. Do not go outside under any circumstance, or to visit any family or friends, for infected civilians are causing massive damage to your local area. Learn more at this website, www.ontario.ca slash page slash 2010 novel wildfire. This program in high definition is... This message is a follow-up on our last broadcast. As of now, the chaos and pandemonium surrounding citizens infected with TS-19 has failed to be contained. This is spreading faster than expected. Thus plans and efforts to contain the virus have been turning up short, and we are getting reports by the thousands of infected citizens who have been causing major collateral damage to major urban areas. The virus has now spread beyond the United States borders, and now reports are coming in from Canada and Mexico of infected showing the exact same symptoms as the ones we are seeing here at home. 
the infected are also committing cannibalistic actions on its victims, biting away at major sections of flesh, and even those victims, if not too badly mangled, are known to come back to life as well, presumably after going into cardiac arrest despite missing major organs that are vital to our health and survival, so if you see anyone badly wounded, or missing large sections of flesh, do not let them inside your home at any cost, as they are most likely infected, and can become a huge risk to you, and your loved ones, if you are to be spotted by one of the infected within your home. Get inside any bathroom or basement you may have, and proceed to lock, and seal all doors and windows, as the infected have been proven to be unnaturally strong, and if one attracts a large crowd of other infected, you could be putting you, and your loved ones at risk of being overwhelmed by multiple infected, and possibly get infected yourself. If you are still on the road, make your way out of Atlanta, up to Marietta, on Highway 75, as the U.S. military has set up a refugee camp at the town center at Cobb that should be safe of any infected, that will provide refugees with food, water, and shelter for the time being, until the U.S. military to work out a safe and efficient way, to transport survivors from the town center to the nearest military settlement outside of Georgia, for Georgia has been, considered a red zone for the infection of TS-19. Thus no military settlements have been established within the state. People still at home are advised to stay at home and not go to the town center at Cobb, as it will be reserved for people who cannot make it home, or into any safe nearby buildings at the current moment. Military personnel will be dispatched to residential and civilian areas to help those trapped inside their homes with nothing to survive off of, in order to help them safely get to the nearest evacuation point to be flown out of the state to the nearest military settlement. Until then, we still suggest having enough food and water for at least a week or two until military personnel can get to you. But as of now, you should stay inside with all windows and doors shut and sealed as to protect yourself from the infected. If someone you're expecting isn't home yet don't go out looking for them, as you would be putting yourself at a possible death risk, we can assure you, that they have been instructed to go to the town center at Cobb, as to protect them and others, power can possibly go out momentarily due to the current events, but the US military and electrical companies, will try their best to keep the power grids up, but just in case, make sure you have a battery powered radio, to keep yourself updated on the developing events, until then, Keep yourself indoors, and do not go outside for any reason whatsoever, for you and your loved one's safety. Stay away from doors and windows, and stay safe, and if necessary, take the necessary precautions for you, and your loved one's survival. God bless America, and may God be with you all. Twitches. We shoot them, they go down, they keep moving, we can't tell if they're dead or not. Head, dead. And we sure got a lot of them today. But you know what the bad part of all this is? I know some of these people. I know, I know some...
This message is to update whoever is left listening on the latest developments regarding TS-19. As of now, Atlanta and the surrounding areas are a total loss. Most civilians who aren't already infected have by now succumbed to the infection. The entire city has already been considered an epicenter of the infection, meaning that it is highly contagious and would be a great risk trying to make your way into it. As the entire downtown area is overrun by these cannibalistic civilians, military personnel will still try to look for civilians left alive in the coming days. But as of now, due to the amount of infected swarming the streets and major civilian areas, no military personnel can get to your location at the current time, but a few are somehow still out on the road. The town center at Cobb is already full of refugees. So for the time being, it's best to just stay hidden in your car, until the military is done clearing the town center at Cobb of refugees. If you have any kind of sheets or items that can cover up any windows, cover your window with it as it's the best way to keep yourself safe from being caught by any of the infected, and try not to make any noise as well, as they seem to be attracted to sound as well, but if you are still at home, Make sure you followed the steps given earlier, such as locking and sealing all doors and windows, as well as staying away from them. Keep a battery-powered radio and food supply to last you for about a week or two. For the power may go up momentarily throughout this event. The phone lines are down and reserved for military and emergency services use. Only so do not attempt to use your cell phone to call anyone, including your loved ones. Avoid going outside at all cost for at this point. It can guarantee you certain death and possible infection. This may seem very unlikely, but we are dealing with an pandemic that is spread throughout all of Central America and is slowly starting to overtake parts of Europe, as well as some parts of Asia. These are very dark times for us, but we can assure you, humanity will live on, and we will do anything in our power to protect you and save you from your current civilian location. You just have to practice patient and extreme caution that is the best way to survive until military can get to your residence and properly evacuate you. Do what we have instructed you to do and stay indoors and do not let anyone and under any circumstance unless they say that they are from the United States military. Until then, stay in place and make as little sound as possible as that could attract more infected to your house. Once again, may God bless America and may God be with you all. Anyone that is still listening out there, this might be the very last broadcast that's ever broadcasted. 
as as we know the world as we know it is coming to an end and while the military says that they're doing what they can and I, I can still see helicopters flying from outside of the window here in the station they're not doing nothing they're gonna leave you there where you are you're gonna just have to survive on your own now because this is the world we live in now the stuff I've seen just I really don't want to I really don't want to even explain it you've probably already seen it yourself but this it's probably going to be the last broadcast because sooner or later the power is most likely going to go out and my goal is to get out of the city because as it stands right now the city is one of the most infected areas in all of the state of Georgia. So anyone picking up this broadcast, do your best to survive. Don't give up hope. There's still other people out here. Um. I don't know what to say anymore. Just may God be with you all. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I have to go.